Thursday's show saw the second round of the Eurovision Song Contest 2022 semi-finals, with 18 more countries battling it out in an attempt to make it through to the big event on Saturday. Airing on BBC3 in the UK, many viewers from around the globe were left furious by San Marino's act as they accused Ashia Laro of copying Italian band Monaskin. It came as the artist and onstage musicians were dressed similarly to last year's winning act. At one point, Ashiel shared a kiss with the guitarist, which reminded people of Minskin's onstage kiss last year following their Eurovision win. It took place in Poland as a demonstration against homophobia in the country. This year, Ashia Laro performed stripper and gave an energetic performance which many believed resembled Minskin's too much. However, as many took to Twitter to point out the similarities, other loyal fans of the band explained Monaskin had actually been inspired by Ashia Laro. Twitter user at Ed Hot wrote, Well San Marino was a blatant Monaskin copy. But fab staging, so it probably deserves to qualify hashtag Eurovision. At Janek Sweeney added, at Eurovision 2 trying to copy off Mona skin and not working hashtag Eurovision. At Robert Fiore remarked, well, let's say it was almost deja vu. Ashia Loro, Mona skin hashtag Eurovision. At Formula Vera fumed. I would like to say that this year's Eurovision is full of outfit copycats hashtag Eurovision. Why is every song a bad copy of Monaskin, Adele and Dua Lipa? Hashtag Eurovision hashtag Eurovision 2022, asked at Jed Nostiv Notico. However, some argued against the accusations. At Vero Ferrero 96 spent. So hashtag Eurovision friends, you should know that as an Italian, I can tell you that Ashia Laro is not a copy of Monaskin. I am a big fan of both. Ashia has been doing this kind of performance for years. I am sorry but you are not well enough informed. Ah, he is also Italian. At Giada underscore online added, okay but it's the contrary. It is the Monaskin who were inspired by Achilles. Hashtag Eurovision. Ashiel described his song as punk rock and a song against judgment. I would define it as a punk rock song, even though I prefer not to give a label to the things I do, he told Wee Wee Blogs. It's a track based on the duality of man and woman, I would call it a feminist anthem. Speaking to Wee Wiblogs, he went on, it's about feeling like a woman and not worrying about outside judgment. Ashia Laro's explosive performance has already been praised for making history with the competition's first male queer kiss. Several viewers flooded social media with praise for the historic moment. Eurovision Song Contest continues with the final on from 8pm on Saturday on BBC One.